just happened to get another real tight close-up of Whitey. You can see how much they've changed. Now his right side is a lot like Prince Charming. You know, Prince Charming's got that double split over there on the right side, but actually I think his left side is also. Oh, he's got his head down there eating something. And you can't see, but just barely see his antlers sticking out there. But that's kind of the way it is when it's hunting right there. You see that big old deer and you can't see his head. <laughs> I'm gonna move just a little bit. There we go. Got a nice pretty look at him right there. Isn't he a handsome guy? My goodness, he is a handsome guy. He's got something growing up there to eat down below that tree. How does he manage to keep behind that tree? See, both of his horns are split already. There's just no telling what he might have. I sure hope we can get him through the hot summertime and all of the bug season, the minion seasons when they get blue tongue and don't make it. Uh, we're using humeric acid, we're spraying, we're doing a lot of things to be able to try to negate all of that that we can. There he is out there a little bit. Hey big boy, hey big boy, gonna walk right up to me. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, we do have three babies up here and they're skittish as all get out. Uh, this was the, one of the three was what I was worried about getting caught by the coyote. I'm just so glad to see all three of them here this evening because they hadn't. That's one little buck out there. And uh, this deer right here was born about this time last year, kind of ragged looking that winter coat there. And he's not gonna come around where we can, he's kind of facing the other direction. You see all he's got some little nubs. I don't think there's any change at all from last week, well, they might be a little bit bigger. Might have just a little bit bigger uh, nubs there than what he had last week, I'm not real sure. Uh, but he's gonna have some not very big horns, I don't think. Now we have one yellow tag that I believe is gonna have some good horns even though it's gonna be his very first horns. That's this guy's first horns, but he just, it's hard to say, but you can see he just got little nubbins there. So hopefully before, uh, we edit this video, hopefully we'll get a look at the forest and hopefully TC and maybe maybe the 12 point. Ah, it's raining on me. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is the uh, sprinkler system raining. <laughs> Got me wet. <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys, how are you doing there, huh? How are y'all doing? We finally have my little band of bucks who come back. Looky there. There is five beautiful bucks right there. I think the big boy is, I don't know if that's a 12 point or if that's TC, but we know this double collar guy is Forrest. We know that that's Forrest, yes we do. Let me see if I can set this down here and adjust it a little bit. I got. I have some carrots, Forrest. Yeah, I have some carrots. I do get that level. Yeah, I'm just gonna kinda Leave that there. <laughs> your force is coming around behind. But we want to look at your antlers. Come here, buddy. Come here, pal. Looky here what I have. Looky here. Looky there. Yeah. Yeah, look at you. You're such a pretty boy. There been a coyote running around. Look how much your antlers have grown. Yeah, look how much your antlers have grown, buddy. Look at you. God, what a pretty thing you are. Got a lot of white around your eye, yeah. Oh, it's all right. It's okay, it's okay, yeah, it's okay, yeah. Yeah, you tried to turn into a wild deer on me, aren't you? Yeah, that's exactly what you're trying to do. Trying to turn into a wild deer. That's my boy, I know you don't want me messing with those horns. You sure don't want me messing with those collars, do you? <laughs> you remember that traumatic experience, don't you, buddy? That's my boy, yeah. And how about you guys? That's a big treat for you, isn't it? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, that's a big treat. Yeah. How about you boys? There you go. 
What about you boys want some carrots, huh? Oh, you got your band of brothers. Is this a band of brothers, huh? A brand of bro brother bucks, except you don't have a brother, do you? you? Got some ticks on you, yeah. Yeah, you have some ticks on you. Okay, come on over here. Let's get some of these guys fed. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Oh, you're 12 point. You're a 12 point, and boy, you got some, you got some nubbins on you. Yes, you do. Look here, buddy. Everybody else wants something to eat, too. Okay. Now, that deer has no tag, so that's definitely 12 point. Here you go, buddy. Get your own little pile there. An aught six, that's aught six right there. Five bucks right here. Yeah, this will, this will kind of help our watching deer antlers grow. Here you go, buddy, here. Here, looky here, looky here. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get back over here, zoom in a little bit, and see what we got. Okay, kind of gonna try to get a little closer look at these guys here, and uh, see what we got. I'll move the camera just a little bit over here, and uh, try to see if I can't do some adjustment here. The world knows I'm definitely not a cameraman. Especially I've got up on a tripod, I'll try to get a little level, more level for y'all. Okay guys, I'm gonna zoom in there and you can see, you can see Forrest up close. He's gonna have a lot bigger horns. Now that is 12 point right over there. So we're looking right in the center of the screen. That is 12 point. And uh, 12 point is uh, gonna have some dandies this year. It looks like he's gonna add a lot of mass is what it looks like. My guess is, my guess is that he might continue to be a 12 point but add a lot of mass and uh, that'll be a little deer beside him that's uh, one of the little had, had a real small rack um, my guess is he might be an eight point this year uh he's got his head down there i'll move around here and see if i can't see it all right he's got his head up now right now if i can find him and get in on him here with my camera right there is aught six you see aught six is going to have pretty good horns on one side pretty good antlers on one side Right down there he is right now. You can see that that kind of messed up on top. Uh, but he only has one, which is what we thought when he ripped that one off, that he probably was going to be a one-horner, <laughs> have one antler forever. And then there's another little buck right, right in there you can see, right there. And he's not going to have heavy horns, but he's probably going to have more than he had last year. You can look at the difference, as you can see. Right there you can see three, four bucks in that picture right there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And you can see the difference in the horns they're going to have. This is what we're going to call the Band of Brothers. This little bunch of deer will probably stay together as much as they can all spring as we go through the process of, we go through the process of these deer antlers growing. This is really, really interesting because you can see just how much they've changed in a week. I mean, this is just a week and it's just a huge amount of change. You see that deer's antlers right there? It's just a... A, a big, big change. No, the camera work sucks, guys and girls, but remember, this is Jimmy. This is not Pat. This is not Pat. Uh-oh. 12 points going to get a little aggressive on the food. Now, these deer have got lots and lots to eat outside, but they love South Fresh food a lot. And I might go over and see if I can feed uh, through the pen. Through the pen, I might go over through the fence, see if I can get, uh, before I close this thing out, see if I can get Snow White to eat out of my hand this morning. I haven't seen her. I hope she's in the building or back behind. Uh, I haven't seen her at all out there. I worry about that coyote running around. We've got wire around all the sides of that. We've got wire all around the sides of that pen, except the very front. And I just worry about a coyote trying to dig in from the front. 
But there's the little band of brothers, we'll call them. We'll just name those the band of brothers. Five bucks right there. Now, what, who is not here and what I don't see is TC. And I worry about TC because he's a six-year-old deer, uh, which makes him a little bit older, makes him a little bit more vulnerable to uh, predators because he is, uh, well, he's just a little older, you know. And uh, you get a big bunch of coyotes jumping on a, a older deer, it makes it a little bit easier for them to take him down. It's kind of like if you had a, a bunch of hoodlums, like we have some in some around some of these cities, and eight or ten of them jump on an old man at 70 years old, they got a lot better chance of uh, getting him down pretty quickly than they do, say, a 30-year-old that's working out every week. So, uh, of course, eight or ten is going to probably take you down no matter what. But uh, anyway, and I don't know if we have any packs of coyotes that large, but but there's our band of brothers right there. This is what I've been waiting on. I've been working hard all week to get this picture right here. And uh, finally we get it, so uh, we're going to take a look and see if I can get uh, Snow White to eat. I got a little carrots left here in my bag. Snow White to eat a carrot out of this. I might not. If I don't, I don't. But I haven't seen them this morning, so I'm going to check them out. I want you all to take a look. We've got a couple of does come up. And I want you all to take a look at this doe that's right here in the front. Now that deer is a totally wild deer. That's not one that were, they're all wild deer, but some of them were born in the pen and we've turned loose. But look how big she is. Look at her belly, she's about to explode. She does not have a tag in her. Uh, I was up there throwing some more feed out a minute ago. Well, I saw a couple other deer show up and uh, and saw that there were there was one or a couple there that didn't have tags, but they stayed. Normally when you walk up there to those really wild deer, they'll run off, but now she is tamed down to where, look at her, but you look at her belly, it's just pooching out on both sides. She probably has twins, and uh, look at her. She And she could pop any day. I mean, she is just very, very close. So I want her to get all the nutrition, great high protein food that she can because she is feeding for a family right there. And hopefully those babies will make it. Uh, they're gonna be born in the wild. And hopefully she'll have a couple little spotted fawns running around here pretty soon, pretty soon. Golly, she is just about ready to domino, as they used to say. You're a pretty girl. Yes, you are. Your tummy's pretty big. Yeah, isn't that special? Snow White. Snow White, where are you, pretty girl, huh? Where are you, pretty girl? Snow White, there you are. There you are, and there's Prince Charming right there with you, yes. There's Prince Charming right there with you, yeah. There you are, baby. Huh? I wondered where you were. Yeah, I wondered where you were. How you doing there, pretty girl? Huh? How you doing? How you doing? I have some carrots. You want to come and eat these carrots? Huh? Oh, you guy, you are so you are so large with child. Yes, you are. You are so large with child. Come here, baby. Look at here what I have. Come here. Come on. Come on, baby doll. Come on, Snow White. Come here, baby. She's laying here in the shade where it's nice and cool. It's about 50 degrees this morning. It's gonna be up about 75 this afternoon. Come here, baby. That a girl, come on. Right here, here, smell the carrot. Right here, baby. Come here, baby. Here you go. That a girl. She's really a lot better with this. Look at this. We got this fence in between me and her. But she will calm down where she doesn't worry about me being in there with her. She'll eat out of my hand if I'm in there with her, but see how she's coming up, eating those carrots. There's something for you too, Prince Charming. She's sticking her nose through, getting the carrots. She said, I'm feeding for a family of two or three. I'm sure hoping three. If the sack is scared her, see as I start to move. Oh, she, she's gonna go. Come here, baby. Come on. There's plenty here. Come here, baby. You gotta realize that any noises or anything around me is gonna be fine. 
Yeah, if I shoot a gun, I'll be shooting at some critter trying to get you. So you don't even have to worry about that. Well, she's just fine. Hey, baby, yeah. <laughs> they don't necessarily like to be petted. There you go, big boy. Here, come here. Oh, she hears those hit over there, and she knows that's what that is. Come here, baby. She's going to go hunt them down now. <laughs> oh, they've been laying there for hours. Oh, I can't even get up and stretch. Get up and stretch. Yeah, get up and stretch. <laughs> Come here, baby. I sure wish I could get Prince Charming to eat. <laughs> sure wish I could get Prince Charming. Sure wish I could get Prince Charming to eat. Now you can take a, take a last look at take a last look at his pink nubbins there. He's looking for he's looking for the carrots that I put in there. Take a real, get up here real close and take a, a zoom in shot of his nubbins. There you go. He's found the carrots. You can see his nubbins there. Remember those nubbins. Remember how big they are. Some of y'all might want to take a screenshot. Look at that. Look at that. They're growing really, really good. But that is just, he's going to be a stud. He's going to have some big old horns. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Here you go, guy. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah. Here you go. Oh, come on, please. Come here. Come on. Come on, boy. He almost did. He touched it, but he wouldn't quite take it. Come here, girl. He almost did. Okay, that's all of them, girl. <laughs> that's all of them. Yeah, Prince Charming almost ate it out of my hand. He almost ate it out of my hand. Not quite. Almost. <laughs> okay, guys and girls, that'll wrap up this week's episode of Antlers. I thought we wouldn't have any video. We end up with a lot of videos. It turned out uh, I want to. I need to put a little something uh, on the deal that just stay to the end because all the best and the good things happen at the end of this video, the end of this week. Uh, but it's so cool. It's so cool. You know, we got the brother, the the, the, the brotherhood of, of bucks, five bucks running around together. We're a little worried about TC, a little concerned. I'm not positive I've seen him, uh, you know, and I didn't come back until uh, until Sunday night, so I was gone several days, but uh, I always worry about him. Uh, we do know that we lost a deer on the ranch somewhere this week. It might not have been one of our babies. It might have been another baby that's out there that they caught, and that deer might not have got killed here in the yard. That deer might have got... Uh, might, they might have killed somewhere and they, they drug a hind quarter or something up here. They're just vicious. They're vicious. They, and they're pretty, they don't leave much. They, they don't leave much at all. That's why if you find skulls out in the woods sometimes if you're out hunting. But, uh, but anyway, it's just, it's just fantastic. Uh, Snow White and Prince Charming are just, I'm just loving them to death. And uh, you just never know. Any day now, any day now, we could have, uh, we, we, we could have babies. So guys and girls, go out there and have you a great week this week. And uh, uh, just remember that I... I love you.